All right, I'm going to go and see who, who liked this. We have Jeffrey Cincino, the founder of Iris. Hey, Jeff, what's going on, bud? A couple days ago, we were talking, and he said he had 100% right uh, um, we may have a clip an industry line legend uncle frank frank oh yeah janelle Coates. i know your name janelle that is i would think our famous is uh tom hanks uh, down down for I've got uh, my McAllen 12. I usually like the 18. The bottles have gone up like $50 a bottle in price, so I'm uh, I'm not going to be able to chase it. I'll go get my uh, my big bottle and show you what I got. Hold on. Bigger than my head. <laughs> I'll leave that up here. Um, so let's see. Here we go. I'm going to try and keep up with all these comments. Now we're going to Justin. Justin, I love that post today about that emergency. That was phenomenal. You handled that incredibly well. I mean, it was very creative, too. You know, there's one of the things that I loved about that post. There was no guidelines for treating the uh, coronavirus uh, conjunctivitis. So, uh, you know, you took what we know about viral conjunctivitis, and you took what we had seen might work on one of the mice and put them together. I think that was really sharp. So, oh, my God, guy. I think anything. Brian uh, had the funniest things ever in a lecture. Uh, he, he had a video of himself at art that he started the lecture with. He wasn't even in the room, and he worked his way through the video, and he runs into the room like he's late with, you know, the video shows him realizing, looking at his watch, oh, I'm late for my lecture. He grabs his drink and he runs, you know, like Benny Hill style and shows up at the lecture. It's also stays in my uh, optometry friend who just reconnected in a shop. He hadn't changed a bit. Nice scene in there. Tara Du from this. What's going on down there? How much about uh, virus in Mississippi, maybe that's a good thing. Uh, where in Mississippi? Uh, North Carolina, love North Carolina. We do duck every year. Hi, Jennifer Straub. We're fading away, so I'll keep with this. It's hard to roll fast enough. Got Texas, got Anif. Hey, what's there? Houston, Victoria from New York. Oh, and God, it's beautiful up there. Mackinac, is that near Mackinac and all that? Those areas. Kim Agostinelli. Names. You may not realize this, but being in the group like I am, I've never met. So it's good to see you here, Sherlyn. Sherlyn. Minor Web. Like Any Okaj, Ontario. Yeah, Canada. I was supposed to be up there for the OAO speaking. Uh, Cancel it yet? Or I assume it's canceled. I think we're going to do an online version. Darlene Mendoza in California, Jack and Coach Gal. If you had the Jack and there, I'd worry about you, Darlene. Just kidding. It was just a joke. Uh, Sherlyn, maybe. There, got a really great practice. A couple really great practices. Downers. Hope it's going on well there. I missed you. Didn't see any of you guys at Seco. That's probably my fault for not. So, Chef C, you know, what's going on, man? You saw, you heard about, uh, I was talking about you earlier about uh, having a 100% show rate. Uh, what is it, three or four days ago, you told me. Good to see you. I was just down there, had a blast at Seco, one of the best Seco's ever. And I uh, hope you had fun. Marilyn, I'll tell Abraham. I'm in Rock. Where are you? Oh, I'm sorry. And I'm breaking a new weld works. Based on out here. I don't know what that is. Some kind of a um, like beer in my refrigerator that was uh, 
some kegs. It's supposed to be good. I haven't tried it yet. Kelsey Jordan got a release. Tammy Fan, what's up, Tim? How you doing? Down there in Houston, there's so many ODs down there. Crazy. There must be a ton of people with eye problems there. Paul Kennedy. You should take a view of running around a, a mall or something. There's Brittany Mitchell. What's up, Brittany? Just saw it. Seiko. Had a good time. Sorry we didn't have more time to hang out. Lisa Williams is from my favorite town, where Jeff Sincino is too, who's on this chat. Love live music, so that's obviously a good place for me. Oh, Hawaii there. Sorry, everything I said about everywhere else, I take back. I, Hawaii is the place to be, right? Hub, Megan, Luke Strike, Nana, daughter matriculating into IU this year. That's fantastic. Really enjoyable school. Um, let me know about that audio thing. I don't know if it's on my end, but uh, somebody told me earlier the audio was okay. Please let me know if audio is not good. Waynesboro, exhausted and spent. What's going on, Kelly? What are you saying? Should have had a few days off by now. I mean, it's me. I'm joking, but it's exhausting mentally. I think even if any of us don't have it so bad that you know, or something that really pains me, it's been hard to deal with. Awesome. I'm supposed to head down to Amelia Island for a spring break. Don't know if that's going to happen right now. If we go, what's going to be open down there? What are we going to do? Is the resort going to be kind of fit, figuring that out now? Oh, good. So there is a Cara Fresca who said the audio is breaking up. All right. Um, I wonder if it's on my end. Let me see here. I've got all my audio settings up. Okay, um, um, I can fix that problem by... Moving into a quieter room. So I'm going to write a note here. I'm going to try and fix the problem by moving to a different room. And hold on a second. All right, hold on, guys. <coughs> Let me, uh, I'm going to move to a different room where it's quieter. Hey, welcome to my house. There we go. This is out. We'll be charging us while we talk. Ah, doesn't need. Well, I'm good on battery for now. It's are annoying. Different uh, angle here. Hmm. Oh, here we go. We can do it over here. Let's try and um. All right, that might work. Is that? Tell me, is that audio better? Tell me, uh, testing. Testing the audio. Audio now. Is it better? All right. So check the audio now. I'm going to talk just for a second just to see if I can get a comment from someone if the uh, audio is better. Any improvement on the audio from here? It is. I'll myself here instead of where we were before. I got a few thumbs up, but I'm not getting any comments. I need you to write a comment to let me know if audio is better or not, so that I can uh, park myself here and go get my drink, you know, priorities. So this is, um, the dining room. Let's just take you around my house a little bit. Got the, uh, massive, long table that I won the Vegas. I won the money for it in Las Vegas. Somebody uh, comment and let me know if the audio is better now or if it's still spotty. I went into a quieter room. 
Anybody better? Audio better? Come on, comment. Stop all this. If you know me, yes, audio now better. All right, I'm going to go get my drink. Be right, right back. All right, so we got our audio. My big bottle on the calendar. All my friends. Staying home isn't the worst thing. Have a good time tonight. Which side should the McAllen be on? On the right? On the left? Or on the inside? I say inside. All right. Cool. So I missed a lot of comments. I see for being. See ya. You were on a vacation. I forgot where you went down. So, uh, Priyal, yes, we got that down. Here, for camera angle. I do a few people on me. It's crazy to think about me not having pants on. And it, you know, that's for my, that's for my webcam. So that goes happens later tonight. There's a uh, Kepler vision success. What's up, T? Natalie, Marilyn OD, big fan, Quinlian. What's up, Andrew Trey? Okay, I'm catching up. There's Hong and Joe King. I'm going to wake up with a headache. Is that whether it's a hangover, pollen, or a corona? Yeah, you know, I uh, remember that saying they taught us in uh, OD school. Probably the most useful thing I learned in optometry school is if you hear hoof beats, don't look for zebras. It probably was just a headache. And then pollen is on the list. And then a simple cold, you know. You hear hoof beats. Yeah, that though. Timothy Moore. Pain. Room. Oh, I did I had to catch the bottom. All right. Worse than before now. Somebody's messing with me, I think. Is that 18? No, this is not 18. This is 12. Um, this is the uh, size that's bigger than your head of the 12. I knew I was going to be locked in for a while, so I didn't. I couldn't afford to actually. The, the eight, I used to when I would splurge on that. It was $250 a bottle, and now it's 300. I'm not. The 12 is fine. 15 is great too. So what do we have here? Janelle Coates, mid 30s patient this week with rheum RA on Plaquenil. Advisor to have enough. Repeats at the moment. Anecdotally, can't get Placanel in Western Australia. Yeah. yeah. What are my thoughts on Placanel? You know, I'm no expert in that area. I, I know that um, one of the things I read is that for Placanel to be effective in this, it, the, the dose you need to take is close to the lethal dose. So I think the risks might outweigh the benefits. I think they have a lot of work to do on it. But because it's not an, it's not an antiviral, because it's an anti-inflammatory uh, its anti-inflammatory characteristics, I'm sure that it's going to need to be used in, con if it's going to be used, it's going to be need to be used in conjunction with another medicine that, that has I'd see it much of a medicine on its own, although, again, you know, I'm an optometrist just like, like you, I'm a microbiology major, um, and I worked at the NIH for a year in between uh, college and grad school, but I, I know a little bit more, I'm a little dangerous on that, but I don't know. Choppy again. People are cutting now. Choppy. Sorry about that. When, when it's when uh, the I'm gonna tell you this when the audio is choppy, just start conversing. 
in the chat. It's really in the chat. Causing it that I change and I'm in a room with no background noise. So my left there. Bama Colony. There's Laura. No, it's a different Laura. All right, and there's Janelle. She heard all of that. Good. Here. So, anyhow, some um, going, although the audio is choppy in and out. Got eight people in here right now. And we've been on for 21 minutes. It's for the longest Facebook Live I've done. Don't forget to let me know what you're drinking, what you're doing, what things are like in your area, what's your family up to. Um, it's, a, it's a crazy, crazy time we're living in. I, I, um, I'm trying to. I've been trying to find something to compare it to. I've been around 54 years. I've seen a lot of crazy stuff. And I've heard a lot of analogies, things about being similar to 9-11. Uh, I don't really see a lot of similarities. But there was an, an, an incident in our area. It was the, um, there were shootings that happened uh, in, um, sniper shootings that happened, uh, I don't know how many years ago, where uh, John Malvo, if you uh, Google him, and a, an, an accomplice were just randomly shooting people and in, in walking down the street in our area. So for there were two weeks where there were no patients coming in. You, you, weren't, you didn't have to quarantine yourself from a virus per se, but from a business standpoint, we went without hardly any business for two weeks. And it was very, very difficult. Um, they, caught, they caught the guys and things went back right away. And nobody went out. I didn't go out of business. And I don't remember anybody going out of business from it, but it was a, it was a trying time. We needed to duck walking from your door to your car and from your car to your work because you didn't know where these guys were supposedly shooting out of a, a white van. So there was this white van in Washington, D.C. where people were, you know, pointing fingers at every white van that went by and having the police pull them over and look at them. It was a crazy time. The thing was that I remember. So, uh, yeah, Mike, Mike, I like your comment. It's like it's no design endpoint. Andy, Andy, uh, Andy with me. I believe you will see that. And, um, and Arzek, so Ryan Mahalik, uh, did telehealth. I want to have a whistle pig. This was an expensive view to 10 to 12. I saw an eight in the store today for like $100. It's great, it's overpriced. John Lee Mal Malvo got married. I mean, that would that would be him that probably had getting out. Shannon Mulligan, classmate of mine from Neko '93. Go Neko. And Jim Thomas, crazy. Now, Jim, who is who is that comment aimed at? Because there's a lot of people. Want to take that. Um, oh yeah, here you go, Stacia. Stacia, you were in uh, fall of 2002, right? That's what Okay, so you remember that. Um, Fireman Michelle Gregg is drinking Fireman's Four Blonde. I could have that. Jeff Weber. Sorry about that. I don't know what it's causing it. It's probably just an internet overload. Move this better for a while. There's Aaron Cosman and Kosa. A lot of other people. Amy Boyer, go Neko. It was Nuenko, that's for sure. I remember Nuenko. And before that, you know what it was before? For that quiz. What, uh, Neko, before it was Neko, it was Nuenko, but what was it before that? I really impressed me if somebody can uh, tell me what was Nuenko before it was called. What was it called before Nuenko? The lady who married John Lee Malvo, I agree. <laughs> Not a crazy lady in the chat room, but uh, John Lee, yeah, of course. I mean, 
crazy way, a trauma bonder. You know, you ever hear that term trauma bonder? This is something yeah, there's a lot of uh, going up there that do that. Funny old. All right. So the original name of New England, Massachusetts, uh, college of optometry. And so I, I remember seeing some of the stamps in some of the library books back then when we used library books. I don't even think the country students are using library books anymore. PJ Holzer. What's up? PJ, I just um, found a video online from the first ODs on Facebook uh, social we ever did. Uh, and um, you're in it. I got to send a clip. Or I'm, I'm going to post that. It's just a, a Google Hangout that we had put up and just was static. So everyone caught everyone walking by. But it's working. That was eight years ago. Mass College of Optometry. Right. right. Amy. I said that. That's right. But you're so that's on that. Brenta, can someone organize an OD Facebook Live webinar? Or just can do help. I like that idea. I'm um, pat along to uh, my admin, Marcy, and we'll set that up. I'm simple. Mundo. Hey, Alan. Greetings from the left coast. Weren't you in the. Okay, yeah, yeah. For some reason, I thought you were in uh, San Antonio, but no, you, that's right, California. Yes, the left coast, the right coast. We are um, we are on the right over here. Here, right? You and Nate, Benia Warford was there, and Justin, Justin Bazan was there. There's Kim Shaw. Hey, what's going on? Hopefully the audio is uh, picking up again. I haven't seen many complaints. Believe me, when the audio goes out, there are some complaints here. Don't forget. Let me know what you're pouring. Show it. Up. I wish there was um, some kind of an app where I could see everybody's video and we could talk. It's just not uh, out there. I did some research. I signed up for WebEx. I did everything. But yeah, you know, even Google Hangouts, you could only do like max 15 people. I knew, hey, Carrie from El Paso, what's going on? You can only do video uh, people at a time. And that's not going to work in a group like this. The year 20, the technology for something like this have umpteen people participate on these things by video and uh, audio sh should should be there. Another San Antonio, Anna. Kim Shao. Hi, Kim. Well, Northern Indiana. Where in Northern Indiana? Big state. The Northern Indiana. That would be the appropriate comment for a dumb question, right? All right. Who else do we have here? People are rolling in and out. That's a good thing. It's got an interesting app. Um, Dunn had me help him log on to Net. Uh, Net has a, a, a app. So you can connect the movie and it's with your friends while they watch the same movie. Um, and there's Mike. Mike Bassio Goopy down there in uh, Bill. Using Zoom, okay, we support a lot of video feeds. Mike, how many? I'm going to figure that out, and we'll do another one of these soon using Zoom. I guess um, I'm not going to be heading down to the school in April. I was supposed to go down and speak to the students at Pikeville. Um, if there's a social distancing way to do it, I mean, uh, it's not that far from where I am. Franco, Neko now, was prior to New Anko, the mass college. I'm not college. It was huge. No, Massachusetts. Okay. Matthew, Will, Kendallville, where are you? Sona, Saruni, and hello, California. Hello. You lucky people getting quarantined. I have quarantine in with sucking out somewhere where the weather's bad, right? Amy Boyer, these times call for not a bad call. I'm a Tito. I go to the worker. Hi, Sarah Pikowski. God. Not from Surprise, Arizona. I know Sarah Pikowski from Baltimore. Sarah was uh, uh, the uh, externship director of my uh, externship at uh, Omni, um, Omni Baltimore. I have a funny story. I'll, I'll share this with you. I may I'm really lose track of the comments. 
um, Ed Wozlowski, who was the director there, great guy, good friend now. Um, we, we were touring with about a 40 minute drive, so I would drive uh, to the rotation at the Omni there and back every night. And I got, a, I had a, um, I had something that was like a, like a wart type growth between my big time to be taken care of because life was so crazy then. So I, I took a surgical shield, a cautery knife, an injectable of tetracaine epinephrine mix, and, uh, and, a, a surgery, and I took it home and I poured myself a big glass of vodka, took a few gulps, and proceeded to do surgery on my toe using uh, the equipment from mommy in, uh, in my bedroom. And I, actually, I laid out my book on netter on the, to find the nerve root in that toe. And, I, and so I injected it there. And in the middle of doing the injection, my dad knocks on my door and opens it. And he looks in awe. He was an optometrist. And he looks at me in awe. And he goes, he just shook his head. And he said, a little knowledge is a dang thing. I'll never forget that. But anyhow, I did a good job on this. It never came back. It healed well. My, my client was a diet. I was how to pay for the rent while my office is closed off. So I find something to note that um that there is going to be rent relief, uh, that the government is going to offer rent relief. I'm going to you know, dig around for that. You can Google the term rent relief for coronavirus. and um, but, but I did see something today. So that may be come on fret yet. Um, don't forget the buildings aren't going to want to lose tenants, but the buildings also have to pay their mortgages and rents. And um, they're, they're going to have to come up with some kind of an arrangement because in my, in my office building, you know, there's all kinds of professionals in there. We're in the same situation. And see if they can fix the audio. Okay. Maybe you know, well, the audio seems to have to do with a, um, the capacity of the internet right now because I'm in a quiet room. And, uh, it was working in the beginning real well and going in and out. So I'm connected well. There is John Byrne, Phoebe Barnes, John McBride. Thousand users on Zoom. Right, Mike. Well, you did better. Reason. I should run all these questions by you. I'll do that. That's, so the next uh, time we do this, we'll have a, a video feed up of a lot of people. And then there's Barry Leonard. Hey, Barry. It's Flo. Mike David, a family member. Are, are his uncle and Glenda Moheen Poof. What's up, Chris? PJ. Audience. You know, I can't do much about the audio. Like I said, I think it's uh, an overload on the Internet because uh, when it's good, it's good. And that means the technology is, is intact and working. Uh, so when the audio goes out, just uh, try and text a little bit. Um, I'll tell you what. You have to take a drink. <laughs> like we're back in college again. Uh, drinking game. goes out, you have to take a swig. There you go. So we've got 73 people on right now, 70, you know, varying between 73 and 103. We've got 166, 92 clicks and likes. A lot of my friends on here, a lot of people, people who threw hoodies on their chain stuff. So, uh, Seeing you at the Transitions Academy, that was a great time. I don't know anyone without these great, fun times. PJ, cheers. Cheers to you, PJ. Is the McAllen smoke? You know, uh, it's not smoky. I don't like the, the, the they also call PD. I'm not a big fan of the PD. The Vulin, um, the, the L's, Lafroig, those are some of the the Islay malts that are more sweet. This is called a... Um, 
a uh, sorry, my mind's not working that well. Um, so McCallum is less lucky, it's richer. The 12 is rich, the 15 is richer, the 18 is real rich. I, uh, I don't have enough booze for this game. I hope your liquor is in a bad way. As Scott Gross, Ron Alexander, another Atlanta. Down there. Sorry again, I missed you guys at uh, at Seco. I look always look forward to seeing you down there. I uh, hope everything's going well down there. We should catch up soon. I'm gonna be traveling for a while, obviously, when we have the chance. Um, so um, the Islay ones are the PD ones, and um, oh my God, I can't believe I'm drawing a blank on this. The ones I like are not from the Islay area. They are from the McAllen. From what region? I can't believe I can't remember this. Space side, that's the word I was looking for. Space side. So, so if, if you space space side, I try, I have, I've tried them all. I always go back towards the McAllen. Uh, all right. So, our area where we live is kind of the, the hotbed for coronavirus in the Washington, D.C. region, Montgomery County. Last time I heard, had 50 known cases. Um, I'm not sure. I'm sure that number has changed because that number is at least 24 to 40 hours old. Let us know in your area if it's shown up yet or if it hasn't. What, what are things happening in your area? Tell me what you're pouring in the night. I got my baby right here. And I was. Yvonne, where are you? There you see that poor baby? He's not feeling good tonight. T Bone, we doing? T Bone hasn't been feeling well. We don't know what's wrong with him. He's been limping too. Um, I think he might have arthritis. Kathy closed the office this week and homeschooled two kids while keeping two toddlers from hurting themselves or each other. Kathy, you know what I say when I hear talk about two toddlers? Better you than me. No. Been there, done that. I had two. My kids are uh, 22 months apart in age. So I know what it's like. It's not, not an enviable position, but you're there for them, and you can take care of them. Jake's a bottle. I heard Jeff says a rare, great, great whiskey, great a bourbon. But all right, let's just go. What about the audio? I don't think. My analogy here, I think it's um, Hey, Janine, what's going on? Where are you? Let, let, try and let us know where you are. Actually, ordered out tonight. They had a, one of the local restaurants has a um, had a worry a little bit about eating out because of the people preparing the food. I guess you know. It'll be okay to to you know to handle that every once in a while. I'll take that out. Um, Brenda, last time I saw you were in a pool in Mexico. <laughs> you see, you thought of that was an interesting pool. It was like a reality show um, pool. They were you know scantily clothed dancers and the, the pool up with bubbles and. I really enjoyed being an observer there. Lowell, Michigan. Kelly, where is that? Where's Lowell? What part of Michigan? What part of the glove are you in or the uh, peninsula? Janine got delivery too from a little Italian place. Yeah, I, I, I'm really on the fence about ordering out. I mean, supported the local business. It's a local uh, Greek meze place. It's pretty awesome. It's called Kava. They've expanded all across the country with. The uh, restaurant answer. David Grosswald, Atlanta heavy in this group. What's up, David? David is a colleague and uh, a member of Capwell, Grand Rapids. Oh, I was supposed to come to the Michigan Optometrics uh, move to a virtual meeting. I was really looking forward to visiting Grand Rapids. I've heard great things. I heard it's one of the most Fastest growing cities in the country with a great economy. Um, so congrats, congrats on that. Is the audio any better? I know it's going in and out. 
There's probably a million people doing Facebook Lives and webinars tonight. I imagine the internet is, is pretty heavy. What is I um uh, Lee is from uh, part of my family. Yeah, and I went to NECA, so I know it well. Awesome there. Stacy Beams here, or was here too. Classmates and Janine. So you want to support the businesses, but better not be picking their. And they can do this. Then doing. Lauren Nicholas. Lauren, what's going? On? Uh, young. From Lauren, I know, but we hung out at Seco, and there's Jeff swearing in. If you can't eat out, what do you? If I can't eat out, what am I going to do? I know. Well, well uh, lucky to have a great some. My wife, who is an amazing cook, so she's helping me stay alive. And the food picks are good here too. It's always been a fantastic. And, uh, Janine, audio is still cutting in. And out. Yeah going to be that way for a little while. I'll probably love So Mary Lou, hey, left Illinois last week for Florida, sheltering in 80, 80 beach closed. Beach closed. Not too bad. You can be where the sun is and you can be out. Let's hope they indoors. That's the risk you take. Florida indoors is no fun. Hey, Lauren, I know, that's right, Connecticut, you were from up there in uh, New England somewhere. Good talk. And let's see what else we got here. Getting a lot of the thumbs and the happy faces. <clears throat> All right, hey, Lauren, great hanging with you. Good time there. Kelly Boos, time to take another drink. Great, the audio is cutting out. This is a drinking game, by the way, in case those of you who are new here. When the audience gets to take a drink, it's like, a, it's like a college game. I'm loving it. So how are you going over that type for me? Just let it keep going. What's the reason? I guess I was on the other side. Sami, Norman. You know what I mean? Right? I don't know. It's hard to keep track of everybody. Michael. And here, so the audio cuts out. You have to take that's the game we're playing tonight. Going to uh, hope to figure out a way to get the stream sort of audio and cut in and out. Today seems to be a little weak. Jen Worth, Colorado Springs. Jelly. That place is beautiful. Love it there. Kelly Booth, up, oh, cheers, thanks. Kelly is going to be our moderator. She's going to let us know when it's time to take a drink when the uh, audio cuts out. So, cheers. And Wisconsin. My son, uh, we have. Great school. Yeah. Sherry, hi, I'm from Wisconsin. We got that one. Um, we went up to uh, to a game to see um, a game at Wisconsin and tour the school. And it was November. It wasn't even like it wasn't even dead of winter, and it was so cold when the sun went down. My son was like, "Ah, oh, I'm not going here." But I think uh, he he was considering it, even though he said that. Should I grow a beard? What do you think? Got a little bit of scruff going. We can't tell. It comes in thick. It's just going to come in gray. I'm worried about that. There's Dawn. Dawn. Any substantive topics you want to talk about or just have fun, let us know. And this has somehow turned into a dream game where... You have such a profound degree. I guess I kind of set that tone, huh? All right, who else do we have here? Click like, by the way, if you're here and you haven't clicked like or heart or do that so I can look at this after I turn it off and see who's here. 
There's Satish and Kellen. Jack. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. And whoever it is, like makers or something. I mean, oh, Kathleen. Hey, what's up? Kathleen. There's Lauren. Have I watched any good movies? Love that question. Now we're getting into the real stuff. Um, few TV series. Really enjoying a, it's not a movie, but Nora from Queens is hilarious. Like I can't get enough of that. Uh, rewatching, rewatching Better Call. Uh, uh, as movies, so we we watched. Um, I'm really bad at remembering the names of the movies, but watched um, the um, that Adam Sandler movie where he's he's a uh, he's gam he gambles on sports. I can't remember the name. It really good. I, I don't remember seeing him ever in a serious role and if I did it wasn't memorable but this was a memorable movie you, you come up with a name, but that was a good one and then um haven't had much time to watch any other I travel so much in most of the country, so I'd love to hear uh, places you're from. Don't forget, there's some clients. And don't forget, for everyone who's new here, we're playing a game. It's a great game. Your pop or uh, any other stupid college drinking game that uh, somebody would create. Uh, I'm taking a drink whenever I want. I'm not just waiting for the audio to cut out. It's all in the audio. Uh, result in quite an interesting conversation in about well, uh, 20 minutes. <laughs> oh my goodness. So other movies. Um, really bad at recalling the movies I watched. I, if I, you know what I'm going to go into while we're on? I'm going to go into my Netflix and not chill, but I'm going to go into my Netflix and look at my little. Yeah, here we go. So um. Well, you know, of course, The Dark Knight was great. Loved that. It's funny. I'm a big fan of uh, roasts. You know, rewatched a lot of uh, interesting things I watched in the past, like Goodfellas and stuff I've seen a million times. Uh, Wait, wait, sorry about that. What are you saying, Spence? How much? Oh, you know what? I I really up on this the other day. I really love uh, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I thought it was done so well. And just the theory that they filmed, uh, Lenny Bruce is, you know, a Lenny Bruce character is in there. Uh, the actress is just phenomenal. Funny. The family. Jewish family, you know, a lot, a lot about how my family was uncut. That was the thing. We're dead. We'll do a tie dye version one day. He's got a crazy. When I looked at the previews, I thought maybe it was, uh, you know, a chick flick. Anybody would enjoy it. I thought it was fantastic. People are coming in and coming out about the same rate. We're loving off about 70 people at a time here. I think you got to pain you. You're going to have to start taking clothing off. No, no, no. That will definitely bring us down. Um, yes. So any... Any watch lately that you've loved? Any TV serials? There was a thread in Odie's on Facebook on books people love, and um, that is a topic to read. How now we have all this time? I personally we're closed for a week, so I'm just getting used to the idea that I'm going to be off for a while. I'm going to go down to September, so. 
Knives Out. Oh, there you go, John Bondra. All right, please let us know in two hours and ten. Now you're watching it here on a Facebook Live. I don't know really how that's going to work for you. I mean, I see my kids who who going to do things once, but you're an adult, I assume, John. If you're in on the see how that goes. Try and put the movie that much here. Knives Out. I don't even know who's in that. Um, let me see if I can come up with another. Uh, what I tell you is a movie I enjoyed. It's not everybody's going to enjoy it. Oh, yeah, 1970. I think that's the war movie. It was Saving Private Ryan. Uh, I love war movies. I love period pieces, but that was phenomenal. My family said they liked Jojo Rabbit, too. I haven't watched it yet, but they said it was really good. And I'm just looking through a list of uh, other movies so I can remember names. Stuff, trophies, the recent horrors. I haven't seen that. Re start watching horror. Actured. What else? Uh, recent movie. Recent sci-fi. As I've gotten older, I've gotten moved away from sci-fi for some reason. Oh, Dolomite is my name. Have you seen that? Dolomite great movie, too. Right. right. Sorry, because I haven't seen a, a message to take a drink in a while. I'm going to take a drink anyway. Oh, my goodness. I haven't done a Facebook Live in a long time. I'm glad we're doing this tonight. He doesn't want to move or go out. He threw up this morning, but then the rest of the day he's been limping around. He hasn't been eating. I think he may have a combination of a bad stomach and a bad a bad hip. He's all going again. T Bone, say hi. There he is, curled up in a ball on the floor. Poor boy. I don't even know if I hang up if he's going to want to go out. He just said no every time today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, Glenn Bruce, he actually um, was a really controversial figure in real life, and um, he, he was one of the early social satirians who uh, really crossed a lot of boundaries, as you know from Mrs. Maisel, which is, by the way, I was just talking about it, if you weren't on before. Um, I mean, it looks like you were. You wrote Love, the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. So, uh, if you go to YouTube, um, there, there are Lenny Bruce like video, videos of him actually performing on there. They're they're grainy and they're old, but he's he's a brilliant comic. You know, uh, a real sad life. Yeah. Shabbat Shalom, Marcy. You too. Shabbat. Friday night is Shabbat, so Shabbat Shalom. Where are you from? See and Lynn. All right, so let's see here. Yeah, it seems to be leveled up about 60 people. We're on There's Ortiz. When you join, if you think about it, let us know where you're from. We kind of want to see where everyone is. And don't forget, whenever we're playing a drinking game, whenever the audio cuts out, you have to drink of your favorite uh, libation. It's a weird word, libation. I always wondered where that came from. What is a libation? And is it a libe? And is the Asian separate? I don't know. Libation. There's Sonny Scott. Welcome. Again, let us know where you're from. We are haven't had many serious questions today. I think everybody used this as kind of a break tonight. So um, that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to try and do it. Do it. Kind of talk about things maybe other than what we're dealing with right now. I hope everybody's uh, doing okay, doing the best you can. I best thing I heard someone say is this is a temporary situation. It's not permanent. And while well, life changed a lot for many of us, after we'll, we'll all get back to where we were and do better later. So 
just business, keep that in mind, and it's just business and not hell for you. I think most of the people watching this will probably cruise without any symptoms or with just some symptoms. And I don't want to focus on coronavirus. I want to really focus on, on you guys and real a social gathering tonight. And there's Carla Gal Gavilanis hey, in the town that is. I haven't been in a while, but I'd love to get back. My youngest uh, might apply to University of Texas, so I'll look you up when I get down there. Bruce, in the calendar, you go Scotch. Yes. Is, um, start with the 12, which is affordable. And, uh, here, setting out the 8, uh, 15 is fine too. And then there's Rick, Rick, he starts from Worcester. Can you? <laughs> Audio in and out, Lynn, and audio in and out, you're supposed to take a drink. And uh, we be wrapping this up in a little bit. Let's see here, about four minutes left. And uh, there's Aug Aug Augustine. What's up? Oh, yeah, I'm sure this this talk is going to uh, blow up now that you're here. <laughs> always something I like hearing. You know, you you always have something interesting. So let's put it that way. Very easy tomorrow. I spend friends and their families. This shall pass. This too shall pass. Now, now we're talking. I can, yeah. Thanks for the transition there. I got that. I, Jade Pastrita, hey, we're in the hood. Yes, great uncle, the famous singer back in the day. What's his name? Tony Pastor. All right. Uh, he's probably not around anymore. That's pretty cool. Honesty knows. We gain knowledge. Yes, we do. We gain experience and knowledge. As the famous philosopher Kierkegaard said, uh, to so this is part of the meaning. Lived forwards, but understood backwards. And uh, if you sit down and think about what that statement says, it really shows you that you, you know you, insight 2020. Right? It, there's a reason for just the way life is. Live forward, backwards. Stephanie Rice, hey Stephanie, from we're going to be closing this down in uh, about a minute. So I want to take this minute just to say thanks for joining me, everybody. I appreciate having you here. And uh, we're going to do this more, more regularly now that we're out of the office. And uh, if anybody uh, wants to join us, we, we also created a drinking game out of here. Hopefully we'll have better audio next time. Be sure to click the uh, a thumbs up or a heart or a smiley so I can log in that you are here. And I'll be sure to let the community post these again next time. Brooks. That will close down, but thanks for joining. Um, we will see you guys probably live, probably unscheduled, very casual, but uh, for our live Facebook social distance social uh, now drink, drink, drinking game. Another Philly person, Kleiman. Alan, I'm not hanging up on you, but this is an hour long uh, thing and it's over now. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to you at the next one. I'm going to try and do one of these. Okay? Listen, to everybody, have a great night. Be safe. Um, enjoy your time off. Enjoy your time with your loved ones. We're the whole community. Uh, um, get to be on Odie's on Facebook with your questions, comments, 
until the morning. Not on video. Uh, stay together, a real community to help survive this and live afterwards. Okay, stay 20 minutes official. Finish this bottle in 20 minutes. Do you see the size of this thing? This is like a massive bottle. All right, everybody. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. The final cheers. Have a good night.